Hey Harmony House, how's it going? So this week we were going to learn a little bit about our amazing artist. His name is Paul Cezanne and one of the things that he liked to paint were still lifes of things like fruits and vegetables. So a still life painting means that he would take something in real life, set it up how he wanted it, and then he would paint a picture of it. So he would take things like fruits and he would stack them all together on a big plate and then he would paint a picture of that stack of fruits. Well, I was thinking a, a fun way for us to kind of explore Paul Cezanne and his style of art would be to make our own food sculptures. Um, so I got myself some ingredients here to make my own food sculpture. Uh, so I wanna show you what I've got. I tried to get all the food groups. I think I got it. So I recommend when you're doing this at home, uh, talk to your parents, get their permission, and look through your food with them and find things that, uh, your leftovers, uh, things that you know maybe you're going to need to throw away soon so that we're not wasting too much food. So what I have here is some leftover rice, and I also have some dried pasta. What food group is, oop, what food group is this? Dried pasta and rice. That should be our grains. And then I also have some leftover refried black beans. They just kind of look like a little mush pile right now, but they're refried beans. What kind of food is our, our beans? What food group is that? Beans would be part of our protein. And then I've got some little tangerines here, some cuties. What food group is that? You know this one, right? That one is fruit. And then finally, I've got some leafy greens like spinach. And I've got a little section of red onion here, which I thought would add some nice color to my sculpture. And some carrots. There you go. And what food group are carrots and spinach and onions? Vegetables, very good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of play around with it. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot my string cheese. What food group is that? That's our dairy. All right, nice job. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use these ingredients and come up with my own fun sculpture. And you'll get to do this at home with whatever leftovers you have. It doesn't have to be the same ingredients that I have. And you don't have to make the same thing that I make. Uh, get creative, have fun with it. So let's see, I shall be begin. All right, I think my sculpture is complete. Are you ready to see it? Let me clear the way here. All right, so for my sculpture, I made a little food house. So I used my refried black beans as kind of like a glue and then I used my dried pasta to make the structure for the house. I used my leafy greens to make the roof and my onion, there's not much left of it now, my onion I used to make the walls and then I used my string cheese to make the arch for the doorway. My cuties I used to make a little walkway up to the door and then I used my 
rice and my carrots to make a little garden. So there you have it. What do you think? I'm pretty proud of that. All right, my friends. Now it is your turn. So go get permission from mom and dad. Uh, find some food items around your kitchen that you're allowed to use for this project and have fun. Make a sculpture of anything you want. It doesn't have to be 3D like mine is. It could be something flat on your plate and that is totally okay as well. You could make a food person or a food flower or a food beach. I don't know. Get creative with it. I'm so excited to see what you come up with and to see your beautiful uh, food sculptures inspired by our amazing artist, Paul Cezanne. All right, see you then.